25 questions in 25 days. Hello, Aluxers. This is a special series we're doing before the end of the year, where we answer some of the questions you ladies and gents have sent our way. If you're new here, do yourself a favor and subscribe. You're currently missing out. Here's today's question. How to identify pain points as an entrepreneur? Asked by Rapido Official on Instagram. We love this question because it's actionable. As with everything we do in this series, it's something you can immediately implement into your life. It also feeds well into the starting a business narrative, which you guys have been pushing us to do. So, how do you identify a problem to solve? The good thing is, there is an abundance of problems out there just waiting for you. The bad side is, you might not be the right person to fix some of these issues. It's unlikely you alone could stop the ice caps from melting due to climate change. So, here's a scientific approach to figure out which problems to target. 1. Start by analyzing your environment. Look around you. 2. Start listening to all the problems that you encounter day to day. 3. Figure out which of your problems you have the necessary skills to fix. 4. Proceed to fixing them. 5. Pay close attention to what it took to fix the problem and if the process is repeatable. 6. How do other people deal with this issue? What other options are out there? 7. Is your solution better or at least as good as the alternatives? And 8. You just found yourself a valuable service or product. It really is just that simple. The biggest mistake most people make is they believe they should solve big problems that have nothing to do with them and where they have no knowledge or competitive advantage. Instead of looking outward to identify problems to solve and markets to serve, entrepreneurs should focus on their own frustrations. The unique solutions they come up with will have a natural market filled with customers just like them. Another mistake new entrepreneurs make is they believe their solution should be perfect since the beginning. They fixate so much on non-important issues, like the way the logo looks or what the company's slogan should be. They never end up pushing their solution into the marketplace and getting real feedback. Getting data from the marketplace allows you to learn more about the customer and seek ways to improve your solution. It will take several iterations until you'll be able to get it right, but that's the beauty of trial and error. Most people try once, fail, and then give up. But if you continue to adjust and improve your solution by testing it out in the marketplace, you'll get valuable insights from potential customers. You'll find out new problems which your product or service can address and build on that. If you're just starting a business and have no idea how to grow it, we can't recommend this book enough. It's called The E-Myth Revisited – Why Most Small Businesses Don't Work and What to Do About It. It addresses all these problems small businesses have in the beginning, as well as why most of them fail. It's a really valuable read that served us well in our early days. So much so, that if you go to alux.com slash freebook and sign up, you can get the audiobook version for free, thanks to the great folks at Audible. It may be weird, but people neglect this idea of trying to solve their own problems. That really should be your starting point. In time, the solution and idea will evolve and grow into a real company. Stop expecting big results immediately and start small. Give it time and you'll be okay. Here's an interesting idea. What's one problem you wish someone would solve for you? Leave your answer in the comments and who knows, maybe someone in our audience will get inspired to provide you with a solution. If you want to make sure you're not missing any of the daily value we provide, make sure to subscribe and follow us on social media. You can never have too much motivation in your life. We handpicked this video for you to watch next. We look forward to hearing from you and as always, see you back here tomorrow.